Hey everyone, this is Adam Lee from Microsoft Gold Partner PEI. I'm going to show you about the Outlook 2016 feature of attaching files and changing permissions. Um, a lot of you have seen this before, but um, I want to go a little bit more in depth with Outlook 2016 and how their attachment files works and some of the options you have available to you. So on the screen here, you can see an email, and this is, uh, of course, within email that I'm uh, speaking. And up in the upper left-hand corner under the um, insert, you have attach file. You click attach file, and then down here, you're going to see the first thing that's going to come up is going to be the recent items. That's a new addition within Outlook 2016. Um, so the things that you've worked on most recently, so it's going to make it a little bit more convenient for you to actually go out there and grab something because most likely what you've been working on is what you're going to want to send somebody. Um, so you're probably, you know, 80% of the time you're going to see it in the most recent items. Uh, the other options that you have is right down here is browse web location. As you can see, I can go to my OneDrive or my actual SharePoint sites right here. So I can jump into any of these folders. And when I jump into these folders, I can now navigate to wherever I'd like from those folders as well. Um, or I could jump directly into my OneDrive. So if I actually click on this, it's going to open up my OneDrive uh, Windows folder. And now I can take anything out of this folder that I'd like. And this is my OneDrive that you'll see down here, actually. Um, so those are some nice features. Uh, the other feature that I wanted to show you is I wanted to show you some of the permissions features. So we're going to attach something that I've been working on that's in our shared docs right here. And what I want to do is I want to share the actual link. I want the, uh, the recipient to actually um, be able to get into the document, not just get a copy. So the changes that they make, or if I want them to make changes, are going to be in the original document. So as you can see, it's uh, now sharing, and it says organization can edit. So that's going to be the default. Now, if I go down to the downward arrow, I can go to change permissions. Now I can do organization can edit, organization can view. So if they can edit, that means any, anyone within my organization that is seeing this or gets it forwarded to them, they can edit that. If it's view, they're not going to be able to edit anything. They can just see it. Now, if you want to keep it a little bit closer to the chest, you can just do recipient can edit or recipient can view. So that means if I'm sending it to one person, I don't want anyone else to be able to view this or edit this. Um, so if they forward it on, they're not going to have the permissions to be able to edit the document. So if I go here and click this, as you can see, recipients can edit. That has changed, and now I can type in whoever I want to send it to and send that email, and then only the person that gets that email is then going to be able to edit that document. Just another fun feature from Outlook 2016. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to PEI, and we'd be glad to answer them.